Hi everyone, my name is Nancy Todd. I'm a professor of biology and environmental studies in the Department of Biology at Manhattanville College, soon to be the Division of Sciences. My research specialty is the morphology and evolution of elephants. And you can see behind me is a small collection of the elephants that people have given me over the years. Should you come to visit me in my office, you'll be able to see the rest of my collection. In addition to my interest in elephants, I'm also interested in anatomy and physiology of other organisms, particularly bones and the skeleton. Here you see Skeletor, who is our yard decoration, who stays up all year round. Why? Because I'm a biologist. So for example, in one of my classes, you would learn what this bone is. Does anybody know what that bone is? It's a scapula or your shoulder blade, and it what is what connects to your arm. I teach many of the environmental studies classes at the college, and I'm also a field biologist. So if you take my classes, you'll spend a lot of time outdoors learning stuff. We also have quite a few classes in plant biology, and so you'll learn a lot from those as well. For example, this plant right here is called aloe vera. And if you break off a piece of the aloe vera, it produces a sap that's really good for treating sunburn and burns and other types of skin ailments. Behind me, you can see climbing on the railing right here, is an invasive weed called sticky weed. It's also called sticky willy or the Velcro plant. And it tends to take over gardens. It is native to North America and it's a problem for weeding gardens, but you can also make it into a tea that helps to treat urinary tract infections. So pretty cool stuff to learn about plants. If you want to follow me, we'll keep on doing some field work in my garden. trees bloom in the spring. They produce these beautifully fragrant flowers. Mm, smells delightful that you can make perfumes out of and lilac oil and it can also be used as an astringent for healthy skin. The thing that we study in my environmental ecology class is the effect of humans on the environment and we have an ongoing project looking at recycling and trash on Manhattanville. So one of the things that we're looking at is what items belong in recycling and what items belong in the trash. And we're specifically looking at Manhattanville to find out how we can do both of those things better. The project I'm doing is studying forest diversity on campus, and I bring students outside to teach them how to identify trees and to understand diversity. So behind me, you can see some beautiful Norway maples that are just starting to produce their leaves. This is an invasive species, although it's now considered to be native to North America. But the problem is that it competes with our native sugar maples. So if you look right here in the cinder blocks, it, Norway maples tend to outgrow sugar maples in any kind of open or disturbed areas. The way that you tell the difference between different trees is by their leaves. So this is a maple, a Norway maple, and this one here is an oak leaf. And oak trees are starting to produce their pollen right now, which I'm allergic to, which is ironic for a field biologist, but this pollen will then be spread to other oak trees and eventually you'll see acorns form in the fall. Here on the Manhattanville campus we also have our own environmental park and our own eco classroom for research and teaching. We have our own greenhouse on the roof of Brownson and we have our own organic community garden where anybody can grow produce and other sorts of things. We use it for teaching and learning and outreach and we donate the food to local shelters. So another class I teach at Manhattanville is forensic biology, where we use the scientific method to help us to find clues to solve potential crimes and to collect evidence. So we have a potential uh, question to solve right here in my house. So in forensic biology, we use the scientific method to solve questions. So here's a question for you. I have found a single sock on my stairs. Hmm. So the hypothesis is that there is a child somewhere in the house who is missing a sock. So how do we test that hypothesis? Well, we're going to make some observations and ask some questions. So we're going to start looking for a child who might be missing a sock. So we're looking around the house. Oh, there's a child. <gasps> and look. He is missing a sock. 
So we have discovered the answer to our question, and we have supported our hypothesis that there's a child in our house missing a sock. Hey. And that's what we do in forensic biology. So I hope you decide to join Manhattanville in the fall. You'll be joining a very dynamic biology department. You'll get to know your fellow students and faculty very well. You'll get to do lots of exciting things inside the classroom and out. Hey, you might even be able to do animal behavior research with bearded dragons, like Pietra right here. You might also get to meet Winston, the stress relief bunny who makes an appearance on occasion. We also have a brand new school of nursing that will be starting in the fall, and the biology department will be very integrated with that as well. We do have students who've go on, gone on to a career in nursing. We have students in medical school and graduate school and PA school. We also have students who work at the Bronx Zoo, who work at the National Zoo, who track sea turtles in North Carolina and who trap skunks and study them in Illinois. We also have students who restore ancient art. Pretty much you can do whatever you want with a degree in biology. I hope to see you in the fall. If you have any more questions or want some more information, please feel free to email me at nancy, N-A-N-C-Y, Todd, dot Todd, T-O-D-D, at Manhattanville, M-V-I-L-L-E, dot E-D-U. I hope to see you soon, and thank you.